you guys when i tell you yeah i don't often give this compliment when it comes to food but when i'm saying this was 10 out of 10 i mean if i had to eat this for breakfast lunch and dinner i'd be so so happy it just just look at it absolutely beautiful stunning exquisite 10 out of 10 sunday was a pretty chill day we went to church and then after church is when it kind of picked up so i was cooking today and I was making a thing called meat pies. Now, meat pies sound like this big, beefy, like, meal that you'd eat with mash and veg, but no. Meat pies are what I like to call the Ghanaian equivalent of sausage rolls. So, essentially, all it is, is you have a mince, a mince meat filling, and then you put it in pastry, you put it in the oven, and it's done. So, I was just making the filling at this point. I just cooked down some minced meat with onions added spices so this is actually the first time i've ever made meat pies by myself normally i'd make them with my mom and it's such a thing from my childhood like i can remember spending hours with my mom in the kitchen and we just like bulk make loads and loads of meat pies and it's a thing where as i've gotten older we've got to do it less so i thought you know what why don't i make some of these and she did actually help me out because I did need her guidance. But yeah, it was my first time doing it by myself. Morning. See how it's, what day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday and I haven't filmed since. Well, I haven't done a, a sit down, like talk to the camera at all. But I haven't filmed since Tuesday. Um. Yeah, filming during the week was never going to happen. I should have known that. And the heat wave is actually killing me. It's just like, I just die every single day. And the buses are deciding that they want to take two hours to arrive. So I've just been dying every day. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else is going to get in here. But I'm excited to see. Hopefully something, something interesting, something fun, something relaxing. But yeah. <sighs> I do need to, I do need to... Give you guys some information so i'll try and do a little spill the tea session and sit down and chat because you know what i just like talking to a camera just feels so different and it's like when i talk to my friends i can see their facial reactions i can see whether they agree or disagree with what i'm saying but like i just prefer this it's like venting but in a healthy way so um see you when i next see you why is the heat in England the nastiest thing in the world? Like, I actually cannot function. My face is so sweaty. I've come home from school and I feel like I'm dying. Why am I in a sauna 24-7? <sighs> Good lighting, though. I'm just like, I don't even know where to begin, guys. I don't even know where to begin. A week ago, in three days, I found out that I was chosen to be head student. So I applied for the role, we had this like long application process and then for some reason that was clearly a miracle because I don't get how I got head student. It's a thing where I like, it wasn't a shock but it was a shock because let me not use this as a prop, I'm going to keep waving it about. I didn't think that I would be chosen over certain people because to the best of my knowledge and from what I know, I'm the first black head student at my school, female head student at my school. And it's a weird sort of feeling. They have this wall where like everyone's names go up. And after school, like I stayed at school to revise and I just, I just stood that in the corridor and I was just looking at it. And I was like, I let it sink in that my name's gonna be up there. Cause I'm the type of person where like, I don't really let things sink in like I don't really celebrate my achievements I'm kind of just like oh, okay but like and it's kind of it's a bittersweet feeling with great power comes great responsibility and I'm really learning that the hard way <laughs> I'm also learning that with great power comes a reset of your mindset because there's things I've started to do and things I've started to stop doing because of this new position. And I think it's honestly for the best. It's opened my eyes to a lot of things 
and I'm being vague for a reason <laughs> but it's a it's a blessing in disguise that's what I'm realizing and it's a blessing in the sense that it might not be how I want it to be but it will work out in the end if that makes sense but yeah I'm just it's, it's weird it's one of them things that I've talked about it since like year seven and now that I actually have it it's like you've wanted something for so long and then you finally get it and it's like it's so bittersweet because there were loads of my friends that I would have loved to see have a role and like without giving a shout out there's a person in particular I'm like how are you not up there with me but um it's a bit of sweet feeling i am happy though and it's been a lot it's been a lot it's been a lot this week what has happened um i was cooking suddenly i remember why i don't film in my house because it is never quiet it's quiet for like five minutes then there'll be someone singing or some sort of noise so i'm gonna end it here but because the heat wave is still going on this vlog is still gonna go on so i might probably end it like well the heat wave meant to end it's meant to end on like monday so you can have another weekend with me but yeah see you when i see you now of course in typical me fashion i forgot that we didn't have any flour so Monday after school, I just hopped to Home Bargains and I got some flour. And then on Monday also, I had to make a hair mask because I realised my hair needed help. I wasn't able to do my hair over the weekend, so I was like, Monday after school, let me just do it. So as you would have seen in my hair mask, I had to use bananas that were overripe. And then I had to put it through a sieve. This part actually took me ages because I didn't want to use a blender because it wasn't like that much and I didn't want to lose it all in the blender so I was like let me pass it through a sieve and then I just added like half a jar of honey and that was my hair mask applying this was such a headache because it was really runny and I didn't realize like bananas actually have juice which sounds like a common sense thing but a banana feels like a very dry thing to me I don't eat bananas because I just have this whole thing like I won't get too much into it but Bananas are just really slimy and mushy and like the texture just makes me feel so weird so I just refuse to eat them. And you can see by my left shoulder like all the mix is just soaked into my shirt so I was like okay let me cling film my hair. Now a couple years ago when I first started doing hair masks I realised that cling film was the way to go because whenever I did plastic bags or like bonnets the mix never stayed in so this way when I cling film my hair I just literally just go around loads and loads of times and then this way I can still do what I need to do. I can go and have lunch, I can watch TV, I can get on with my day and then when I'm done I just undo the cling film and then I'm ready to rinse it out. So bear in mind this is a school day. I've already done far too much for it being a school day. I was like let me just get my hair done as quickly as possible. I did all of these twists and I kid you not it literally took me 20 minutes. Because I was like, I'm not about to spend hours doing my hair today. So even though it was the perfect temperature for me to let my hair air dry, I was like, no. Let me just do twists because that way in the morning, I literally just undo them at school and then I'm good for the rest of the week. And it was after all of that, at like 10 whatever p.m., that I was like, you know what, now's the perfect time for me to start making these pies. And it took a good, a good amount of time. It was such a nostalgic experience, like, I don't know, it just took me back to when I was eight. And I used to do, so the job that I'm doing right now is what my mum used to do. So she would fill all the pies and then I would just like fork the ends. And you know, I was really happy with how they turned out. Like for my first try, I actually did a decent job. They're not as good as like how my mum would make them, but I don't think I'll ever cook anything as good as my mum makes it, but... You know, I tried my best. They turned out really nice and I was really, really happy with them. I'm at church and it's Sunday. Sunday the something, 19th, 20th. Um, and today is the last day of the heat wave. And it's the most humid day of the heat wave. It's not like 30 degrees or anything, but I'm actually like, I'm dying more today. 
than I've been dying throughout the entire week. I don't know what it is in there, but it's so, so, so humid. So it's going to be lazy vlogging from me. I kind of like the bits and pieces kind of vlogs because it's just very start and stoppy, but I feel like I prefer that than like a one day vlog because this way you've got loads of different things from throughout the weeks. But yeah, there's meant to be another heat wave next week. <sighs> it's not going to be fun. I do realise that a good 80% of this video has been you guys watching me do things in times 8 speed and hearing me talk over the videos. But it's just like, it's so impractical to, to talk while recording. I don't get how people do it, like, because my house is just so busy, I literally can't. So I just have to do voiceovers because it's easier that way. Hey guys, I'm vlogging in my kitchen and I've got chicken breast. Basically what I do is I chop it up and cook it so that during the week I make sandwiches with it and stuff. Um, this one is a long time coming so let me get into it. I'm going to talk while I cook because I was like... because I was like, I feel like, oh, let me think about this logistically. If I'm touching raw chicken breast, let me put on gloves, let me put on gloves. Okay, got my gloves on. So I'm going to begin. It's chunks, it's not like chicken breast, so it's not gonna take me like ages to cut. But um, where was I? What, what was it that I really wanted to say? I suppose lately I've just been thinking a lot and I feel like all this is is like I just want to share my thoughts because I have these chats with like my friends and people at school but I feel like when I'm at home and I sit and I deep things is when they make a lot of sense to me and I feel like people around me are changing and that's okay for ages, before anyone goes, oh, you're touching your hair. This hand is touching chicken. This hand is not touching chicken. This is holding the knife. Okay. For a really, really long time, I think it was like up to year nine. I absolutely, like, if you ask me what my worst fear was, my worst fear was change. I just loved things staying the same. And I hated, absolutely hated when things changed. The thing is with me, I can adapt really well to change. and. I'm a big fake it till you make it kind of person. I will lag my way through it and oh my God, you won't even tell that I'm triggered by it. But I used to absolutely hate change. And then when year nine came with COVID and lockdown and oh my God, everything has changed. I kind of like, it was like exposure therapy where I was like, okay, I can be like, oh my God, I hate change, but it's here and I have to deal with it. And I was like, I can hate this thing or I can use it and make it something good. So instead of hating change, I kind of now run to it. And I don't run to it in the sense that like I run to it with open arms. I run to it in the sense that I will use the change to, I'll kind of use it as an excuse and be like, okay, this has changed. So now I'm going to act this type of way to then match the change so for example with me getting head student that's a change i'm now going to not act a certain way but i'm realizing that i need to put boundaries between myself and certain individuals and that is a way which i'm gonna cater to the change i don't like the change and the change makes me quite sad and I'm not going to say what the change is because people who know me watch this video. It's a thing where, it's one of those things that I never thought would change. It's one of those things that I thought would always be what it is. And it's like that feeling of like the floor caving in beneath you or like a rug being pulled out from underneath you. It's like, look at me quite a Lewis Capaldi. <laughs> Um, no, but literally, like, I feel like, oh my god, damn, I'm joking, I'm joking, but 
it's just weird it's weird trying to come to terms with something that you never thought you'd have to come to terms with and i just i feel like everything's changing and yesterday i had a whole thing where i was like all sad about it but today i'm kind of like this is a good thing because change forces me to look at myself and be like what are my flaws and how can i use this to to try and counteract those and this has been a load of waffle because this is this is sleepy sharon and when i'm tired i will just talk and talk and talk i wanted to do a segment where like maybe in the summer i'll do this where like i'll just have nighttime conversations because i could honestly just talk for hours right now but yeah i feel like you know earlier when i said that um what did i say i said something like being head student is going to come with a change in mindset I feel like, I feel like it is, and when I say this bit of sweet, I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm growing up. I feel like, I, I, my sister always says that I'm very childlike, and that I have like, very idealistic views of, of what things should be and how things should go, and I always say, no, that's not true, but very key, she is right. I'm very childlike in the way in which I trust people and the way in which I expect people to act towards me. Because I believe that the love I give other people is the same love I'll get back, but that's not the way the world works. Okay, so the camera cut me off and I think that's my cue to stop waffling. But um, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Did I miss something out? Like, comment, share. No, I didn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know when I'm next going to post. I'm trying to go for once every two weeks. That's, that's kind of the memo. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.